Oopsie. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your three things reading for December 2019. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, so right now it'll be three things. <laughs> uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Divine Faith Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right. That was the high priestess that jumped. Pisces or Cancerian. Some of you dealing with one of those. If not that, talking about some intuition developing. <laughs> and things might be unclear right now, but there's some deep uh, inner workings going on. Being divinely led. Pay attention to your dreams. There's some signs showing up. Numbers in succession. That sort of thing. Scorpio. Could be talking about a deep psychic bond you have with someone. Just saying. Queen of Coins, that could be Capricorn. Justice, she's been showing up a lot lately. <laughs> Justice, Page of Wands, King of Cups, so Capricorn, Pisces, Libra. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Eight of Cups. All right, set that there. So we got, we got two eights and, okay, so we got two eights. Hmm. What did you just learn? What's going on there? Just learned something. Hmm. Oh boy. So this would speak to kind of, I wonder if you're biding your time or if you're just kind of not making your interest known. Um, but don't let that spoil or stop you from wanting a connected partnership or relationship. It's, are you still carrying a torch for somebody and so you're kind of just doing a bunch of superficial things? Huh. Okay. The thing is, is that things are as they should be right now. Uh, mm, we got two blindfolded women here. Is this, does that speak to not wanting to see what, what is? Kind of wanting to play it against the middle. Like, okay, I'm still going to be available, but I'm also going to do my thing over here. But it's... It's because deep down you want that connection. You want that special connection. And yet this behooves you to look at the reality of the situation that the target keeps moving for the Scorpios that I'm reading for. You've got somebody that keeps moving the target and this is not, it's, it's like something's waiting to materialize and it, it's, it's questionable if it will. Hmm. All right. Hold on. What's this page of wands about? Nine of Pentacles. What's this? Oh, what's this Knight of Cups about? That could be Scorpio. Have you been sequestering um, or kind of like putting your own needs at bay? Um, kind of waiting and kind of keeping a certain part of you squashed because you still might be feeling for someone and you're waiting for things to work out for that? Or did something kind of mess it up enough to where you're just like, I have no interest, but you do, you do. And yet it would seem that, well, if it's not that person, I don't want it at all, but it can be both. It can be okay. It's not that person, but I still want deep and abiding connection with someone and it hurts. And it's the merging of the two. The answer is not cutting that desire off entirely, nor is it waiting and keeping your own needs sequestered. It's a combination of both. Realizing that I've been doing this because I still actually want connection even if I can't have it with this person and it hurts and you need to grieve. You need to be like, well, dang it. Part of you knew this could happen. Um, you could see the writing on the walls kind of stepping into it and this is, it's, it's like, well, this isn't a surprise, not like the Ten of Swords, right? So it's, Things are as they should be, though. And this is about you standing down 
um, and not kind of trying to play both ends against the middle and kind of appear like you're doing your own thing, but you're secretly waiting and you jump in a heartbeat. Nope. This is about, it's not about doing so much as realizing that you're not getting your needs met and you keep doing that for someone else's benefit. So stop it with the kind of sequestering your own needs. Stop that. Keep that wanting to connect spirit, that wanting to be in love, but acknowledge what the reality is and start figuring out what you're going to do. So no longer looking outward and waiting for your needs to get met, but going internal and figuring out, all right, what do I need to do from here forward? Does that involve me laying it all on the line and being like, okay, look, you know, here's the ultimatum. We're either getting this thing off the ground or I like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Or is it you deciding not even to have that conversation and just being like, I'm out. I'm going to go find somebody that's much more available and ready to go like I'm ready to go. Um, because in doing that and realizing what you're doing and admitting to yourself what you're doing, um, it's like a, a you get kind of a, a an epiphany because of that because it's like you can't not know what you know. You're honest with yourself, right? And then forward movement can begin. All right. So what's this Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. There it is, that, that finding your person that you feel that with, that forward, that excitement and that passion and that romance and that tenderness and all, it's like the extremes, but the, it's just everything. That connection. In this context of this, this is that the way it feels when you first fall. It's, it, you want that. Everybody wants that. Well, mostly everybody. Even the monsters. What's this Three of Swords? <laughs> Three of Swords. The Magician. Uh huh. And this Eight of Swords. What's this Eight of Swords? Three of Pentacles. Good. All right. So here's the thing the answer doesn't lie in you waiting. Stop it with the sequestering your own needs. Stop it with the keeping things at a certain level while you take care of everything by yourself because this person's unavailable. Stop that. Because what you really want is that love and that connection. And you need a partner that's going to do that for do that with you. And it's time that you look at it in those terms, that you accept that the target is continually moved and you're going to continue to have to sequester your needs and be left wanting. And it's realizing that that's going to bring you to that epiphany and be like, I, I don't want to keep doing this. It's not, it's not going to ever be about me. And I need to kind of go dark in the sense I need to withdraw, pull back, and I need to be self-sufficient under my own and do my own thing for a while and kind of just keep my own counsel and keep to myself and have other things. It just, it really feels like you've been kind of waiting and you need to not, you need to get out there and start living your best life. Not at the expense of anybody, but you need to do you. For the Scorpios that I'm reading for, you're, you've been waiting around for something and the target keeps moving and it's it can't all be up to you on how to make something work. This is not about someone going back and repairing things. I'm not talking for a Scorpio that's broken up with somebody. I'm talking about somebody that's waiting around for somebody. It's not up to you anymore. It never was. They've been moving the target the whole time. For this reading, somebody's been putting things off or not really and it's deep down. You're, everybody else on the outside, it looks like you got this and so you're happy or you're just doing your own thing and it's not a big deal, but it is. And you need to look at that. This person might very well still be worth it to you, but you need to acknowledge that for some time now you have not been getting your needs met and you're, you actually have taken it upon yourself to try and machinate and maneuver and manipulate the situation so you could. And that's no, you need this is about being honest and realizing what's going on and figuring out what your next move is, keeping your own counsel. Going inward internally and being like, all right, I'm not looking outward anymore for that validation or what the next what's our next game plan? What are we gonna do? There's no we. You figure out what you need to do and what works best for you. Enough with sequestering your needs. Enough. It's about you doing what you need to do. And it very well could be starting new projects, getting new interests. 
being more social, starting other things. What's this Ace of Wands? Again, it very well could be that taking this time apart makes you realize, you know what? Yeah, I am going to wait. This person is worth it. Fine. But make it a conscious choice to do so. Don't be sitting there playing this game with yourself like, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just, I'm, you know, just doing my own thing. And no, no, you're waiting is what you're doing. And if it's a conscious choice and you want to do it, okay. Because then you can set it down when you don't want to do it. But if you start to, if you, if you're doing it because you think you should, or well, when's it going to happen? When are they going to? Then you, resentment builds and you start changing into somebody you don't like because you're doing for everybody else and you're not getting your needs met. That's the difference. When you decide to do this, when it's a conscious choice to do that, you can also consciously choose to not anymore. But if you're going by somebody else's rules, then you're kind of sequestered. What's this Ace of Wands? The devil. <laughs> I don't like that. That's Capricorn. Capricorn. This is, I mean, it doesn't have to be. This is just, it, that's the sign associated with both. This is Eight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Good. Good. This is going to co so you pulling back and you going, you know, what? I don't want to do this anymore. In fact, I don't know what I want to do, but I'm going to keep my own counsel. I'm going to decide for myself. I accept that I have fully, you know, done this thus far. I don't blame you, but if I keep doing this, I'm going to hate you and I'm going to hate myself. So I'm pulling back. I'm going to think about what I need to do and get this off the ground for me and what I want. It, again, it might very well be that you decide this person is worth it, but Again, it will be a decision rather than you just feeling like, when am I going to get my turn? Like you're doing this haphazardly or without choice. There's always a choice. So this could very well be the turning point for both of you where you actually do decide, hey, they're worth it. Could be that you don't. Could be that you go off because you want to break the pattern. Could be that this is a wake-up call and in, in this epiphany that both of you have, you turn away from the past and how you did things and it, you're off and running. Could be. The way, it, the way this reads for me, that this is going to be a wake-up call for the other person. That you're going to pull back and you're going to take a look at, oh, look what I've been doing. And there's going to be a new sheriff in town because, hey, I'm, look, I'm waiting for you by choice, but I could also not. So if this isn't going to be a thing, you know, I've got some decisions to make here. Um whether you want to say that or not, obviously, your life, your choice, your reading. But it looks like this will be a wake-up call. Um, that this is going to be like, oh, okay, wow, didn't realize that that's what was going on or however they explain it. But this is going to be um, something that kind of jolts them back to reality as far as, hey, you know, there's two of you in this situation. You could still decide to leave after that because the damage might have been done. You're like, really? I had to threaten to leave to get you to realize I was, I mattered? Like for some of you, you might just be like, I'm out. But for others, it could be that this is something that you work through and you heal together from it. And it's, it makes you stronger for it because you, you clear the air and you get that new start. Sexy time. <laughs> it, it could, it could, this could eat, okay, so suffice it today, this could either make you stronger for it if you come together, you have it out and you have a new game plan or it, you both go like this. It's going to depend on your person. Looks From what's looking like here, it looks like it's a wake up call. All right. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? Whoopsie. Okay, that one wanted to jump. <laughs> skunk spirit know your worth dang straight know your worth no more sequestering what scorpio wants scorpio matters oh good gracious there's like there's two here 51 52 scarab beetle spirit magic works through you okay sandpiper spirit be playful so this is all about you kind of like rise somebody said rise okay i'm getting up this is all about you getting vertical on something and remembering who you are and what you want and figuring out your next steps because you're back in control. 
you're taking the power back. Not that this person is bad or that they took it from you. You've just been kind of sequestered and it's time you remember who you are and what you want and factor that into what you're doing and then choose your next steps from there. All right. Okay. Scorpio. Hello. That's for Scorpio. This is supposed to be 15 minutes. Doggone it. What else for Scorpio? You get to talk in and three of coins again. Right here. Three of coins. Good. Uh, so this is again working through something. Whether it's this right here is about you doing it solo. This right here could be about you two having it out and then deciding what the game plan is together. You not waiting for anybody anymore. You having a voice in the next steps. Consider that, please. That's for Scorpio. Scorpio. Knight. <laughs> Knight of Cups three times. Good girl. Okay, so that was like that. Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups reversed. So you do. You really do want this. You really do want this because. Even if it wasn't this person, you for the Scorpios I'm reading for, you believe in that abiding connection. You believe in the romance, the passion, all of it. You want the whole package. So that's really what you believe in. It is not worth putting your needs on hold for that. For you to feel this strongly, a triple Knight of Cups. Yeah, th that's not somebody that can be, it's like caging an eagle. You can't put that on hold. So this needs to get off the ground or you, you need to go because this, you two don't deserve each other. You deserve somebody that is like going to take that into the sunset. Okay. And not this man be pan be going back and forth, honestly. The, mm. And then this is because of this intensity, you've got the ace of cups right now. Things are going to start to get really tenuous and kind of, uh, you, you need to stop sequestering your needs. Keep that abiding desire for connection and love and riding off into the sunset and, you know, swimming through shark infested water to bring you a lemonade type of thing. But acknowledge what is happening and what you've been doing and figure out your next steps, not in counsel with anybody else, but with you figuring out you and what you want to do. And it will, it's going to be a wake up call, whether this is you flying solo afterwards and doing your own best, or if this is you working it out with your person, that remains to be seen. That's going to be up to the two of you. But from what's here, it looks like it's a wake-up call. I can't get... Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I tried to do 15 minutes. Doggone it. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, love to you. And good luck with this. I hope to see you in the next reading. And happy holidays if you celebrate. Uh, take care.